Hello, today I'm uh, recording this video to show how to do the tumor segmentation that can be used for machine learning and AI in the future using MITK. So MITK is a, a free software that you can download using this link, uh, mitk.org wiki download. And then you can download the version based on the operating system. So I'm using Windows, so I use this uh, without installation version and I download it. I think about 100 uh, megabytes and you can unzip it and uh, you will see uh, the, the folder here and uh, to use that we go to the bin folder and uh, you find the MITK workbench open it then you can see uh, this interface okay so now I, I just try to open the nifty image that I want to annotate, for example, this image. So this is a uh, abdominal uh, CT scan. First, uh, I can see here is the scan and I can adjust the, the window, the Huntsville unit window, move it a little bit to be able to see the tumor. So for example, okay, when I go to this window, I can see the tumor here. Now the next step is to do the annotation. So for example, I show the example say, okay, I only want to annotate HCC and ICC. So I create segmentation, uh, sorry, create a, yes, create a segmentation called the HCC. And it will tell you, okay, please select a color and select the number. So I say red one, that's fine. So I can create another segmentation called the ICC. This is another type of tumor. Uh, you can click this, select green, that's fine. And the label select two. So now you will see, okay, you have two labels you can use, okay? First, uh, if I suppose this tumor is HCC, then I can go to the segmentation function, uh, go to the segmentation, and this is the multi-label segmentation tool. I open it, uh, I can probably drag it a little bit to here. And I say, okay, now I try to annotate HCC, okay? so. When you do that, uh, you can basically make this uh, biggest. So to do that is that you click this, this button, you can go back through big and small window and you can use a mouse. You can roll your mouse to go between different slides. This is pretty convenient. And you can also use the, the, red, uh, the right button to zoom in and zoom out. Okay, so when I do things like this, I can use this add function and click the mouse or if you have annotation pad, it will be better to the annotation. Or I can use the subtract to adjust it. Maybe this is too big. I just make a little bit, something like that. Okay, I can further add it back. Okay, then you use the mouse, go to next slice, annotate it. Next slide, annotate it. Next slide, annotate it. Okay, so it depends on the slide thickness. So if you think you, your slide thickness is very thin and you don't want to do many of this type of annotation, you can do the pre-processing to make the slide thickness thicker. Okay. okay, so this is one side and I can annotate another side. So again, so this, I don't focus on the accuracy now because I just want to show how to use the software. So it can be way more accurate if you use uh, annotation pad or use your mouse annotate more carefully. So, okay, so suppose this is HCC and uh, if I see another tumor, probably ICC, for example here, if I regard this as a tumor, then I switch this, click here, switch it to ICC, okay. And find that, okay, if I suppose this as a tumor, this is, not a tumor, but I can use this as an example. Say, okay, I annotate this guy. Okay, so it will be green, like the color you assigned. Green, green, green. Okay, again, this is not a tumor, but I just use this as an example. Okay, then it's done. Okay, after you do the annotation, you can say right click here, save, and go to the place you probably go to the place you save the image and uh, choose this to be NI. This is really important. Add a GZ to make it smaller, say HCC, okay? So or you can call it, uh, so 
or whatever. So you can name it as any name you want, HCC. And for the ICC, you can save as well, save. Change it to Nifty. And change it to ICC, okay? Okay, now the annotation files, the two can be used by, by computer. So you want to, if you want to check, you can close the project. Uh, you can open the image. Okay, so you will see your image. Then you can adjust it a little bit. And then you can also open the two annotation files, okay, to see if you actually get two annotation files. So you can see, okay, here you can see from the 3D view, you can see, okay, so these are basically the two tumors that we annotate. And you can assign a color for it for visualization. That's fine. Let's so say, okay, this ICC is green. So this is basically match what we annotate before. And you can see what's going on here. And for somehow you see, okay, it's not pretty accurate. I want to adjust it a little bit. What do you do is you probably right click, say convert to segmentation, okay? And then now you have a segmentation file here and you go to the place, you will see this become changeable again and you can subtract, okay, I want to subtract, subtract, probably I don't want to see the original label. I can subtract, I can add, I can do anything, okay? Then save this new annotation as HCC, NIGZ, you can replace the original one or say this is version two. Doesn't matter, okay? So then you have the new segmentation. Okay, so this is basically how can we annotate multiple tumors using MITK.